This is a big university in downtown LA. Millions and millions of people. LA just provides a lot of questions that can be answered because of its diverse nature. It's not too uncommon for a university to have a satellite area, but it's not always on an island that's an hour boat ride away. I think you really have to come here and see what's available. Ultimately, the deciding factor for me coming here was the research opportunities. I'm studying nutrient cycling and all the nutrient cycles are tightly linked to the carbon cycle. And the carbon cycle is very important for some of our more recent problems we've been experiencing with like global warming or ocean acidification. So I think we are moving in a direction that allows us to find some solutions to common problems that we'll be running into. Most of the oxygen that's made on the planet actually comes from tiny little free-living organisms that live in the ocean. I wanted to look into viral and bacterial and archaeal communities in sediments. I think somebody coming into USC wanting to study marine microbes, there is so many divisions of marine microbes that we now touch, they would have a lot of choice. It's been shown that a lot of harmful algal blooms are getting worse and getting more numerous now with warming, more acidification of the ocean, just various reasons. We followed a bloom from beginning to end, and the focus was looking at how iron affects the environment or what iron's role is in the environment. The ideal thing that we want from studying harmful algal blooms is to predict when they're going to occur and then how to manage it once it happens. One of the things that we study here are hydrothermal vents and methane seeps, which are these extreme environments at the bottom of the ocean. And to do this, we often use submersibles like Alvin or the Johnson Sea Link. And we get to go down to the bottom of the ocean and see these areas that very few people have ever seen and studied. It's not that common for people, you know, as a graduate student to already get to do all these things, which is one of the reasons why I am so happy that I decided to come here because I got these fabulous opportunities that some people wait their whole lives to even get the chance to do once. What we're interested in is the physiology of mussels. Mussels are an important ecological species. How do they deal with common stresses that they see in the field? Heat stress, lack of food, hypoxia. Can we develop bioindicators of stress to sort of predict how they will do with climate change. What we're studying with oysters can link metagenomics with practical applications because in studying the whole genome of the organism, we have an opportunity to solve issues about oyster mortality and find better ways of breeding organisms that will yield more food and yield more offspring moving into the future. I would tell any prospective student that they're not going to find a better faculty anywhere else. The professors have done some really groundbreaking research. All of the scientists that are here are very fundamental in their science and they are really at the top of their games. I knew that coming here I would have the opportunity to do something original. The financial support for me has been outstanding. I mean, when I came in, I, I was given a, a fellowship and guaranteed stipend for the number of years I was going to be here. There's definitely lots and lots of support here. The USC community is special in the sense that everyone is really collaborative. All of the advisors, all the professors have an open door policy. All of the labs are open. I have access to any of the equipment that's here. Anytime you have a question, any of the professors are open to listen to you and talk to you about whatever you need, you know, helping you through protocols. One person's findings often help out another person's research and help direct their research. Here at USC I found that there's a lot of people even doing different disciplines like you have microbiologists and chemists, geologists, physicists, all working together on the same projects so I felt like USC is trying to facilitate really good science.
working with people at other universities can lead to people knowing who you are, which could lead to a postdoc, which then could lead eventually to a job as a professor. The way that I came about my postdoc is actually through interactions of people coming over here to work with my advisor. She introduced me to lots of researchers throughout the world that are furthering my career. You can work with great people. You have the opportunity to travel to amazing places. There hasn't really been anything that held me back. Got to do more than I even anticipated I would ever do, so. 